The other inside cover of your foldable has some notes about characterization. And these are all terms that should be reviewed for you, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them. Um, the protagonist in a story is your main character. And the one thing I really want to stress to you this year, and that I will keep revisiting, is that your protagonist does not have to be the good guy. Um, and it often is confused, and I know a lot of people will say that, but your protagonist could be the bad guy. Your protagonist is just the main character, who the action follows around. Um, I read a book once about a bully. The bully was the main character. It told his perspective as he picked on this kid. And of course, by the end of the story, we saw a big change in that protagonist, but he was the bad guy at the beginning of the story. He wasn't nice. He didn't like him. Um, but that's who the action followed around. The antagonist is the person or the thing that causes problems for your main character. It can be the bad guy, but it isn't always. Now some terms that we use to describe our protagonist and antagonist are flat, where we have a character who has very few character traits. Um, if I was going to ask you to describe them, you could only come up with one or two words to describe them versus round, in which they have many character traits, lots of adjectives to describe them. We could also describe a character as being dynamic, in which he changes a lot by the end of the story. In my example about the protagonist, who was a bully, by the end of the story, he saw the error of his ways and changed a lot in his personality. We would describe him as dynamic, versus a character who is static and stays the same. So the next video um, you have shows a couple of uh, differences between them, um, and I think it focuses on flat and round. So I just tried to find some fun videos for you to watch uh, just to give you an idea of reviewing some of these terms.